Hey, this is Faye, Diamond in the Rough, and I am, let's see if we can get it to focus, there we go, I'm about to kit up Girl by Carousel, my 100 by 67. Now, I've been trying to work out which way to kit this up. I was going to use the um, Elizabeth B. Elizabeth Ward bead storage, which is the tray with all the different compartments, but I don't have any of the big trays left that I'm going to need for some of these colours. Um, because I plan to actually go, when I go to Cairns, I'm going to leave this one at home and I was going to do the like, two others, um, Steampunk and Elsa, I was going to take to Cairns. Um, but I'm looking at how I create the storage and my weight for packing. So, yeah, that one went out the window. But Girl by Carousel, ordered from DIY Moon. Um, I ordered it 29th of May. It actually arrived... Basically the 16th of June, so that's three weeks, um, and they, there was a missing package. I was missing the electric drill, the electric drills. Um, I notified them on Wednesday the 19th. They were shipped Friday the 21st, and on my door Monday the 20 uh, Monday the 24th. Brilliant, 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 brilliant service. There was no questions asked. They actually, because you can see the YouTube clip, when I was watching it, I didn't see them on the YouTube clip, but I didn't think anything of it. Um, however, they were able to look at what they recorded and went, sorry, we didn't put it in. It was me. So here they are. So first things first, I'm actually going to open these up. And even on such a small package, let's see if, gosh, they do a good job of sealing things up. They do a really good job. Nothing escapes their packaging. But I want to get this without having the paper, which I think I have done actually. Yeah. Oh. Everything is so well wrapped. So this is actually perfect time to show you the drills as well, the electrics. Um, I'm going to be placing another, I, yes they are expensive, but I'll tell you what, their customer service is brilliant. So it's wrapped up, it was in a bag, wrapped up in wrapping paper. Um, there was two layers of bubble wrap around this. Oh, don't tell me. Oh no, yes I did. I just cut that and I think I cut something else. Okay. <laughs> I did I did I just ended up cutting the um cutting that cool little bag. That's really cute, that silver bag. Okay, I can't get it open. Okay, okay, there we go. And oh there we go. Girl by carousel. Um so it is labelled up Girl by Carousel, under by 67, with my name. I love the face that place that place that place that they put the um, space in my surname. If you actually consider my name, it's funny, if you consider my name with the space, it's easier to say my name. But, okay, let's grab. So for you guys that have seen these sparklers that have been recently going out on um, YouTube where someone has deliberately targeted, deliberately sent out these to um, bigger YouTubers for some absolutely brilliant advertising. I did show them when I unboxed my other one. But look at that glitter. And yeah, my camera is actually going to focus on all of those. Absolutely 
Absolutely stunning. Uh, hold on a sec. Okay, that hang on a sec was because I've been mucking around with my camera to try and get the sound right and hopefully I have it right. And I just listened to it and it's sounding pretty good. So, Girl by Carousel. Um, I'm not going to put those back in the bag. Oh, actually, here's some. <laughs> um, hang on. I'm quite sure I've got a bigger bag I can get those into. I just want to put them in a bigger bag. Just... Oop, drop one. Don't lose any of these. These are so much heavier. And I mean, I'm just putting them in this bag. I will be putting these in um, GBs. There's, I know I've got one on here somewhere. There it is. And there's another one. Don't want to lose any of these. These are special. Okay. Let's go back to this. So, Girl by Carousel. Round hundred by sixty-seven. This is another nice big one. I have done my labels um, by the Zyron sticker maker. Um, oh, there's another one. Um, Sorry, I just okay. Um, so I have done it by the Zara and Sticker Maker. I have shown the usage of it twice. Um, I've been using it since September, and it's really funny because I was using it, and then a wonderful lady pointed out to somebody else, and now it's ended up going all the way around the um, internet, which is fantastic because this is a brilliant little tool. I have, I will try and link the two clips where it shows you one, how I initially use it and two, how I um, enlarge so I can make these bigger. You can see on here that I have small and large. The um, reason behind that is I had to photograph this, no inventory sheet. Um, I will say I would, I do like an inventory sheet because I can then muck around with the labels. The, let's bring it around here. Um, the actual uh, legend, which is on the left side of this painting, um, is quite small. So I mucked around quite a bit to try and get these labels, which is why I didn't do this on camera, because I knew I had three. But, and it's always nice to go, yeah. Videos are long enough as it is. So this is the peel and seal. So there's my labels. Ready to go. So I'm going to keep this up. And as I said, my decision was based on, I was going to go the Elizabeth bead. I do have the case with the 60 bottles, but I want that one I want to use that one for um, travelling and, oops, that's not the one I want. So, what I am going to use, sorry, dropping everything. I'm going to use my Craftmates lock of this for this. So, I have two of these. I do have a range of storage devices and it all depends on the diamond painting that I'm working with. Um, the big ones, the ones where I've got a lot of colours, I do prefer to use these um, or the Elizabeth Ward. But, yeah, I mean, it's all just how I feel at the time and how I'm going to work with it. So I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> one of the things that I was able to do when I uh, unboxed, I was able to get the colours back in. With this company, when they place their colours in, they put them in DMC order and absolutely magnificent. 
I tried to put them back in the bag, which I did manage to do, but I don't know how well in order. So I am going to speed through this process of opening them up and sorting them out, just making sure that I haven't lost any in the process. And then I'll come back to you. Okay, they're all there. Bags are empty. Go there, and I have my lovely sparklers, my electric diamonds. Okay, so from here I will actually go kit up. Um, if I come across any static, I will stop and record the static, how I deal with static. If I oh, so was for those uh, first time watching this, um, and so I have don't always explain it. I have different ways of recording. Um, I use the live cam above me. I have a Logitech which I use for my face, and then I have my phone. Um, but I run a couple of different programs, so I record most of my stuff standard speed via this camera here, the live cam via a specific program. I do, however, have a camera, the same camera, but I have a program that records and takes recordings either every one picture every second, one picture every two seconds, one picture every three seconds, so that then um, timing wise. So I actually drop, jump between programs to do these recordings. So what I'm going to do is change my program and record this as I kit it up so that you don't have to see the kitting up. Um, you just watch it it's in a lovely quick time. Um, but if I come across anything, any issues with any drills, which I can't see any, I can't even see any static, um, I will come back and uh, I will show you. So I've already stopped because I've just realised that I haven't cut my labels out. I'm just going to move these to the side. Without trying to drop any things. So one of the things that I do with uh, my labels, instead of needing to, instead of using scissors, I actually use a ruler to cut and exacto knife. What that does. Let's see if I can get you zooming into where I'm at. Okay, hang on. Give me a bit more light in that area. How's that? So what I do is I will actually just exact do my my labels. Just trying to find. Where is it? Four, five, six, seven. What that means, I'll show you what I do with the exacto knife. Because I've made the cut on there, the exacto knife goes underneath. I didn't cut hard enough. <laughs> Then I, what I do is, uh, now that it's cut hard enough, I put the X-Acto knife under the label. The sticky is actually on the X-Acto and it's just a case of putting it down directly onto um, the container. So I will get to and do that and kit these and kit up and um, get back to you. Okay, so I have actually, let's get the position where you can see, I, um, two things have happened since 
so far. First of all, um, I don't know if you guys have seen my tissue box trick, um, but that's where I put all my empty wrappers. And as soon as I get this out of my hand, I'll go through further. But I had a little bit of an incident with my tissue box. But what I'm going through now is actually this. This is called static. It is not oil, it is static. There is no oil in there. One of the things to do with static is dryer sheets. People say put in the freezer. Freezer might be a good idea. Um, freezer trick has never, ever worked for me. However, static, um, what I have found is once you wash the container out with a static, uh, with a dryer sheet, but I empty the whole lot of drills into a tray that actually has, so this is the, I have a big tray here, and I actually have a dryer sheet underneath. And what I do is, that's how much static there is, it's sticking to my fingernails. Um, I give it a bit of a wipe with the um, dryer sheet on all of them, not just the ones that come out of the bag. And static is gone, but I also put in, just trying to get one, a dryer sheet in the bottom of the container. And that gets rid of the static. Um, I do have a short five minute video clip of static and how I deal with static because um, my short link canvas um, from Alibaba had massive static and um, so what I had to do is deal with it there. So there is actually a short little video footage um, and I will try and remember to put it in so you can actually um, watch how I do with that process. Hopefully I'll put it in here somewhere around about this point and we'll see it. And back to uh, high speed. So actually no, this is it. This is the tissue box trick. What I did was accidentally poured a whole bag into here. But the tissue box, if I actually pull this out, do you know how these things just fill up so much space? Fill up a plastic bag. If you actually put them in the tissue box, it keeps them really well controlled. Um, I'm actually up for a new box because my the, the plastic that 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 normally sits there and you put and that keeps everything in. Um, that's actually so worn down that I need a new box. But um, empty tissue boxes when you do this makes a big difference and it's easier to get rid of and you don't end up with the junk on your desk so there's a lot of in there this will be choppers by the time I finish but you can see a bit more there just don't do what I did which is just empty a complete bag into the box so back to filling these containers up Actually, no, it's not all done. I need to put some away. All of those um, plastics, all the bags, are all in here. So that's pretty impressive. Um, if I had that in a plastic bag, that bag would look like it was full. But what I'm now going to do is I have drills that um, obviously is too many to fit into the containers. The craft makes lockables when the people when we get these bags, they take a full one of those. Um, otherwise they do take about sixteen hundred drills in them, I think. 
thing I want to sell them had the yeah, the two hundred there. But, yeah. All right. So that is my spare drills. Just rolling it round. I am using the, one of the labels which has the Girl by Carousel on it. That's not needed. Now this is where you actually see. And because I've got the shoe bags, let's watch all of this come out. This is a good example to show how much space having one of these on your desk makes. Right. <laughs> That's basically empty. But now that these are all let loose, I've got a couple on the floor. And I find these are just going to go into the bag. And straight into the bin. But as you can see, that tissue box trick makes things much more manageable. Hang on a sec, put these in the bin. And I've ended up with bits on the floor. Pick them up later. Okay, so the only thing I haven't packed in is my electric drills. One thing I do have with these is I have numbers on the top. So um, there we go. Two, three. This is just me. I so that I can put them in there in the pouch in water. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. But let's just do one. I will put the electric beads in. One. Two. Okay. That was a bit special. question there we go so that's all good all set up ready to go normally I put the picture here so I'm going to have to print out the picture and put it there and that goes up on the shelf and this goes to where I store my dress so there we go all kitted up ready to go on door by carousel um, yep and so I will see you in my next video. Um, I've got two more to keep up, which I'll take my time with. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please um, subscribe, hit the like bell, hit the dislike bell, put a comment. Um, so this is a DIY moon shop. I've got the electric drills. Um, yeah. Subscribe, like, dislike, comment, and hit the bell to be notified of um, when um, I've got a video coming up. I don't. I just tend. I tend to create the video, edit it, put it up as soon as that's done. Um, most of I don't tend to schedule stuff um, unless I'm going away. So that I can just schedule a few that. So um, yeah, I will. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this kidding up. 
Any questions about how I queued up, please don't hesitate to ask. But I will catch you later. Bye for now.